Welcome, welcome everybody to another episode of Sarcasm and Motherfucking Orgasms. I'm your host, Will. Thank you for listening and tuning in. So if this is the first time you're tuning in, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. You know, hit that button down below so you can get your daily dose of everything sarcasm with some orgasms. So, you know how we do it. Let's get sarcastic. Welcome back, people. So, I want to say thank you for listening and tuning in. So, let's get into it. So, a lot of things have been going on with people. And with people, a lot of uh, not being able to say how you feel. You know, freedom of speech. Like one of our amendments. Yes, everybody has something to say. And, you know, everybody is entitled to their opinions. Just like assholes, everybody has one. But when it comes down to it, sometimes no one wants to hear the opinions of an asshole because when it comes out, it can be misdirected wrong. It can come out in a way that it's just like people take offense to it. We also have to think in a world to where we have family guy and we have South Park. Everybody is so goddamn sensitive nowadays. You can't say any and everything without being censored, without uh, offending somebody. Like, I do not understand why can't we just say how we feel and people can't just take it for what it is. Just because I say something does not mean it should be correlated that is directed towards you. It is just my opinion. It is just how I feel. Now, I know people are under the assumption, well, you're speaking about me. You're, it, Well, you're not speaking about me. You're speaking about things that, you know, might have something to do with me that might offend me. So fucking what? If you don't like it, don't tune in. It's that simple. If you don't like it, don't click on it. It's that simple. If you don't like it, turn it off. Do us all a favor. Stop complaining. Do your own thing. Let other people do their own thing. We can all live in a happy place without people always thinking that we're trying to offend them. Nobody's trying to offend anybody. All people are trying to do is just say how they feel and keep it moving. But now we live in the day and age to where, you know, social media is like really taking over everything. And everything is like you have these internet gangsters and they're going off one after another after another. Well, I'm fucking sorry. If you don't like it, don't click on it. Don't post. Don't go into the posts, you know, trying to clap back at somebody else just because you got issues with your own self. Fight your own demons. Don't try to fight someone else's demons thinking you're going to win because you haven't been able to take over your own self. Be secure with yourself before you start trying to um, bring a fire to someone else's yard. Put out your own shit first before you try to deal with somebody else's. It's that simple. Stop trying to make everybody feel just because you hate yourself you gotta make that person hate themselves too because you're uncomfortable yes we all don't like what people have to say it's okay we can ha- we can agree to disagree we have that right but what we should not be doing is getting mad just because someone is saying how they feel like i said everybody's entitled to their opinion we are it's america it's one of the greatest things we could probably do without being ridiculed but we still get ridiculed because sometimes we might say things that make it seem as though you know it's inaccurate or we're not fact checking about what we're saying and how we're saying it well you know what oh well oh fucking well it just happens that way we live in a society to where everybody thinks they're fucking geniuses but we know they don't know two shits about what the fuck they're talking about and it shows each and every fucking time and i'm sorry to say i know i'm not the smartest person in the world 
I don't try to act like it. But you know what? If I'm asked of something, I will give my opinion on it. I'm not going to say that I'm right. But you know what? I will say how I feel and I will keep it moving. I'm not going to stand there with somebody and argue and rant and rave just because I want to get my point across. If I feel as though I've said enough that it... Um, that it makes it clear and it, it's concise to me then fine i would keep it moving but i'm not going to stand there and argue with an idiot because the only thing an idiot is going to do is beat you to a level of submission to where they feel as though they've won and you never want to let an idiot win because they will always hold it over your head so just hold well not hold it just say what you have to say and keep it pushing it is not that hard not that difficult but sometimes free speech ain't free at all it's really not and the moment we start realizing that the better we can be with our words with our actions because our actions prove more than our words but it seems as though our words are really overtaking things and making it seem like we mean what we say and we're not going to do anything about it because then if we do do anything about it then we're being aggressive we're being abrasive we're trying to make an example of things that we say and how we're going to do it and it's not always that way it's really not and it sucks in the land of they say free speech it sure is not free because if it was free then we wouldn't be always combative about things like free speech is not free at all because it costs you something it really does whether it's going to cost you your time whether it's going to cost you your energy or your money because if it's going to cost your money then someone's going to sue you because of something that you said and make it seem as though you were wrong and you never should have said it to begin with so so we just need to be better about what we say how we say it when we say it why we say it and where we say it because someone somewhere is going to get offended it doesn't matter but if they do get offended make sure they're getting offended for the right reasons well, is there a right and wrong way to get offended at something? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I know I've offended a lot of people, but I don't care because I say how I feel. And if you don't like it, you can always come to me and say, hey, Will, I didn't like something. And I would be okay with that. But people don't do that. People do not want to bring the drama to your door. They rather... They'd rather stand out in the yard and complain, ranting and raving about what's going on rather than being a man or a woman and say, hey, I got this issue with you. And that's what is wrong with people today. No one is willing to come to you as a person. And we're not talking about a man or a woman. No one is willing to come to you as a person and say, hey, I got this issue with you. You need to understand. Well, not need. You need to see where I'm coming from so we can better find out an issue come to a compromise or we can agree or disagree but no one's willing to have a conversation everybody wants to fight automatically because you they think you're offending them or you're saying something out of their character or you're trying to test their gangster ain't nobody trying to test shit don't nobody give a damn they really don't so you need to start listening and start moving and stop worrying about what other people got to say just do you be you and don't conform please don't conform just because someone doesn't like what you got to say and this is not this is not going out to anyone as to say hey just start you know internet trolling people no what i'm saying is just be you at the end of the day say what you have to say stay on your principles and make sure it's for the right reasons because you shouldn't just try to be beefing with everybody because not everybody needs to be beef with they really don't so yes we do live in a land where they say free speech but free is not so free because remember we all buy a bag of chips but we're really paying for that bag of air that they put in which is fucking ridiculous like we all see like when they have the commercials on tv and they have a bag of chips and just fill up to the brim yeah it's because then Ma finchies then took two bags and poured it in there so yeah it's really not free so free speech is not free at all it is going to cost you something and you best i mean this and you best be prepared because you will be paid 
for something for something so this has been another episode of sarcasm and motherfucking orgasm if you like this if you enjoyed this video go ahead like if you got something to say go ahead comment say what you have to say i will respond back uh, positive or negative it doesn't matter i welcome everybody and then go ahead and share this video so you know you can get me out there and if you have anything else you want to hit me up go ahead and hit me up on ig that's sarcasm two underscores orgasms and we can all don't get cast so thank you so much for listening and watching and i will talk to y'all all soon